You might have heard of time dilation as a concept that stems from Einstein's theory of relativity. It means that time flows differently depending on the strength of the gravitational field in different regions of the universe. For example, in the movie Interstellar, the characters experience time dilation when they visit a planet near a supermassive black hole. But what if I told you that this concept was already known to the ancient Indians thousands of years ago, and that they had a story that illustrates how time dilation can affect people's lives? That's right. In this video, we are going to reveal how an ancient Indian king and his daughter traveled to another dimension and came back to find everything changed on Earth. We are also going to show you how this story relates to the Hinduism and cosmology. If you are interested in learning more about this amazing story, then stay tuned and watch this video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest uploads. The story we are going to tell you today is about King Kakudmi and his daughter Rivati. This story is mentioned in several Hindu scriptures such as the Bhagavata Purana, the Mahabharata and the Vishnu Purana. King Kakudmi was a ruler of a vast kingdom in ancient India. He was a prominent and powerful king who had only one child, his daughter Rivati. Revati was beautiful and talented, and the king adored her dearly. As Revati reached a marriageable age, King Kakudmi began to worry that he would never find a suitable husband for her. He wanted someone who was worthy of her beauty and intelligence. So he decided to seek the help of Brahma, the god of creation, who lived in another dimension called Brahma Loka. He took Revati with him and traveled to Brahma Loka using his mystical powers. When they reached Brahma Loka, they saw that Brahma was listening to a musical performance by some celestial beings. They patiently waited until Brahma finished his entertainment. Then they bowed before him and made their request. King Kakudmi asked Brahma to suggest some suitable candidates for Rivati's marriage. Brahma laughed at the king's ignorance and said, O oh, king, the world that you knew from when you started your journey to meet me has long gone by. The people that you knew the potential suitors that you had in your mind for your beloved daughter have all died and passed away, and so have their sons and grandsons, and their grandsons too. Brahma then explained, Time runs differently on different planes of existence. During the time you and Rivati have waited to see me, 27 Chaturyugas have passed on Earth. A Chaturyuga is a cycle of four ages, Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Divapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Each age has a different duration and quality. The total duration of one Chaturyuga is about 4.3 million years, so 27 Chaturyugas amount to about 113 million years. Brahma continued, Everything that you owned and knew, including your family and treasures, have all vanished with time. Your kingdom is no more. Your subjects are no more. Your friends are no more. Even your enemies are no more. The king and his daughter were shocked and saddened by this revelation. They realized that they had lost everything they had ever loved and cherished. But Brahma comforted them and said, Do not despair, O king. There is still hope for you and your daughter. There is one person who is suitable for Rivati's marriage. He is Balarama, the brother of Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead. Brahma then advised them to go back to earth and find Balarama, who was living in Devaraka, a city on the western coast of India. He also gave them some gifts, a necklace of pearls for Rivati, a ring for Balarama, and a conch shell for Krishna. He then blessed them and sent them back to earth. When King Kakudmi and Rivati returned to earth, they found everything vastly different from when they had left. The landscapes, the people, the culture, everything had changed. They also noticed that they were much taller and bigger than the people of their time. This was because the human stature had decreased over the ages due to the degradation of morality and spirituality. They managed to find Devaraka and met Balarama and Krishna, who were the rulers of the city. They told them their story and showed them the gifts from Brahma. Balarama was impressed by Rivati's beauty and intelligence and agreed to marry her. Krishna was also pleased by King Kakudmi's devotion and gave him a place in his palace. Thus, King Kakudmi and Revati found happiness and peace in their new life. 
They also witnessed many miraculous events and adventures that involved Krishna and Balarama, who were the incarnations of God on Earth. So what do you think? Is it possible that time dilation can affect people's lives in such a drastic way? And what does it tell us about ancient India and its knowledge of time and space? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.